Hello, this is Chris Neal from South Plains College. Welcome to my Pro Tools how-to video series. This is the second in a series on surround sound mixing in Pro Tools. This one is about down mixing your surround mix so that it can be monitored and do some editing in a stereo environment. So we are going to create some sub paths to set up this down mix and learn how to go back and forth between the two setups. So here we are in our session. We've got all of our tracks routed to sub paths to our S sub M over here, 5.0, a mono for the LFE, and two 5.1 master faders assigned appropriately. So these are the tracks that you should have set up after your basic setup, a 5.0 aux input, all the audio being routed here, a mono to simulate the LFE, and two 5.1 master faders assigned to main out surround and S sub M. We have the send on our 5.0, which is routing the audio being received here, which is everything in our session, and routing all of that audio to the mono LFE simulation. We have the EQ plugin, which is a low pass filter at 80 Hertz. So let's look at what we need to set up so that we can monitor our surround session in a stereo environment like the lab. So what we need to do is go to the IO setup. So we're going to go to the setup menu and go to IO and we are going to go to the bus tab, which we see here. So there's our main outs around 5.0 and LFE. And there's our S sub M with some of the sub pass. If you don't have those uh, set up, we'll just close this so we don't get confused. So what do we need to do? We need to create a new path. So let's do that. We're going to create a new 5.1 path and we will name it down mix. And we are going to leave the auto create sub path checked. We will hit create. So there we go, there's our down mix path. Let's just drag it up here to where it's more convenient. Let's drop down that menu. We're gonna get rid of every single path except for the 5.0 and the LFE. So we'll select those, hit delete. So this should match exactly what we have on our main out surround. So our main out surround should have a sub path for 5.0 and LFE and so should our down mix. So that's all we need, so we're gonna hit okay. And back over in our session, what we need to do now is we're going to create a new track. So we're going to create one 5.1 aux input, hit create. There it is. So we need to name it. So we'll double click and we'll name it down mix. Hit OK. And we need to set its input. So its input will be bus down mix. Surprise, surprise. So now we need to route the aux inputs for S sub M to this new down mix track. So we are going to route them. So we're gonna to go to the output for S sub M and we're gonna to go to bus down mix 5.0. We're gonna to go to the LFE for S sub M and we're gonna to go to down mix LFE. So input is S sub M, output is down mix 5.0, S sub M LFE, down mix LFE. Input down mix. And we'll set the output in a minute. So let's set plugin here. So we're going to go to the plugin. We're going to go to multi channel plugin. We're going to go to sound field and we're going to choose down mix 5.1 slash stereo. Opens up this plugin. We'll go to the presets and we will choose the ITU preset. That's all we need to do for now so we can close that. So now that this plugin has created a stereo output, we can go to the output and set it. So now we can go to the output and choose our main out left right. So let's set that. Okay, so that's all we have to do. So let's review back over there. We've got all of the tracks in our session routed to S sub M 5.0. So this one aux input track, we're sending a copy of that to the LFE to create a sub. Those are routed out down mix 5.0 and LFE. This is receiving the down mix bus. This plugin then converts that six channels of audio and folds that down into two channels and then we can route that out our left and right. So how about when we go back into a studio where we have a surround monitoring system? So all we have to do is take these outputs of these aux input tracks and route them back to the main out surround 5.0 and main out surround LFE. Now down mix is not gonna be doing anything. We're not routing anything to it, but we're gonna leave it there so if we have to go back to studio monitoring, we can just reroute to that. So if we need to reroute to that, all we have to do is go back to our aux input tracks. We choose down mix 5.0 and down mix LFE. And we're ready to go. Next time we'll be 
looking at effects setups in this round. So see you then.